I fight 12 polar bears bare naked in the Arctic before you ever catch me doing night shift again. You know, sometimes, sometimes I see people working the graveyard shift, eyes sunken into their eye sockets like they're recovering from, from a beat down from Mike Tyson. I always wonder what their story is, you know, why they've chosen to voluntarily torture themselves. Is this the only job you could find? Huh? Did, did, did you make some, some terrible financial decision that requires you to have have both a day and night job? Are you a masochist, huh? Are, are you a masochist that gets off on doing physical and mental damage to your body? I just want to know. I'm more shocked, maybe even impressed by the companies that can persuade people to destroy themselves for anything less than double the minimum wage, especially fast food. Like you do a dog shit ass job like fast food during night shift and you're not making bank. You are a certified hoe. Actually, let's be real, okay? A certified whore. You already getting piped for doing the night shift, but plus fast food? Nah, you gotta love getting fucked. Like, how, do, how does that corporate cock feel, huh? That shit girthy, ain't it? It's girthy. You just riding that shit, my nigga. You know, maybe it's less of people wanting to get the lower end of the stick and more of companies knowing there'll always be someone that needs a job regardless of the conditions. There's nothing I can't stand more than terrible job conditions. A job, it's, it, it's like part of your lifestyle, usually taking up one third of your day or more realistically, uh, half of your day since one of the one thirds is the eight hours you sleep. So yeah, half of your day. If your job is shit, subsequently, you'll feel like shit. Your energy levels will be lower. Your self-esteem just gets tossed out the window. Nothing worse than shitty job conditions, especially shitty job management conditions. It's like the closer the clock gets to midnight, the more insufferable managers become. Night shift managers are on a whole different dimension, you know? It's like, it's like Professor Plutonium trying to make the Powerpuff Girls, but instead he puts in narcissism, Machiavellianism, psychopathy. Oh yeah, can't forget, can't forget Chemical X though. I have the headcanon that night shift managers decades ago, they were like, they were cursed by some witch or some wizard, damned to work night shift until the end of their days or should, should I say, end of their nights. <laughs> Every minute past 6 p.m. they're not working. That's like, it's like one year off their total lifespan. <laughs> uh, night shift workers be like, yeah, I work night shift. How could you tell, huh? Uh, how could you tell? No, no, tell me, bro, for real. How, how could you tell? Yeah, no self-control on my own. The lonely niggas to load when the money go missing. Hey, and my wallet and my ribcage, I love love enough for comfort, knowing money goes with it.